on the four corners of your world. La tête nationale allemande. This is Global Gas. Aloha, guys. What's going on, man? Coach Tim here by the beach, watching some Global Gas, your games and your sports from around the world. Check it out. Our rigger canoe, and that's right. It's totally cool. These guys are tearing up the ocean. Check this out. Our rigger canoe, and man. Now, the first outrigger canoe races started in Hawaii, but way before it became a sport, Polynesians used outrigger canoes for transportation from one island to another. Now, these days, you can try it out in countries like the United States, Australia, Tahiti, and Fiji. Here's how it works. The outrigger canoe is different from an ordinary canoe because it has a rig on the side. Now, this rig balances the canoe and makes it more stable when you're in the ocean. Now, hardcore canoe is trained year-round for the World Championship, a 40.3-mile race between the islands of Molokai and Oahu. And in these long races, each canoe is followed by a motorboat with reinforcements. And when paddlers get tired, they switch off with the other teammates who are standing by on the motorboat, ready to jump in and continue the race. Now, these switcheroos are really cool because the paddlers don't miss a beat. They get in and out in a split second. And lots of serious canoeists also do little sprint races called regattas, which are typically 250 to 500 meters long. Now those take place in many places around the world and are good prep for the big race in Hawaii. Outrigger canoeing is considered Hawaii's national sport, and it's high-speed, high-intensity fun in the sun. Not only do you get really buff arms while you're at it, you get to race with a team and achieve results one person can't achieve alone. All right, now one of the many perks of this sport here, of course, is uh, getting a pretty nice tan. And uh, as you can see, guys, I need to work on mine. So I'm going to do a little bit more rowing. This has been Global Gas. I'm Maddie. Our rigger canoeing.